Hi guys, again an unplanned video but just something I wanted to talk about with you guys. Don't worry about my makeup half done and things It's because it was spare of the moment. But anyway, I don't even know what I'm going to title this video yet. Um, I just wanted to talk about um, a spiritual awakening um, and when you realise or the hardest thing to realise is you're the only person that holds yourself back and you're the only person who lets people get away with what they get away with. Um, so it was inspired by um, a few experiences I've recently had. Um, sorry, windows open as well, like I say, unplanned. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys, like um, I'd mentioned in another video, people saying you've changed. Um, what they mean is you're not taking my crap anymore. You're not doing anything negative to them, but they will try and put it on you. Um, and I just seen a comment on my video and um, I just wanted to put it out there. When you are trying to raise your vibrations, just like a spiritual awakening, it's not going to be easy because they are people who will try and test you. Um, for example, um, you know, I think I made the example in the other video about um, somebody in the corner shop being rude to you and you saying, excuse me, that's not acceptable. And then they're like, "Ooh, what's wrong with you? You've changed slip straight into my Yorkshire accent there. Um, but yeah, they'll be like, um, you've changed, you're moody. No, you're not. Do not let that sort of talk drag you back down. Because yes, you've changed, that you are no longer willing to let people disrespect you, step over your boundaries. Um, and they may in general want to argue with you. Um, because the old you would have done what they wanted. No, me, they say, yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir. Um, you know, for somebody who will do whatever you want them to do or, you know, when, when they say jump, you know, you're expected to say how high and do what they want you to do. No, just remember, change is not negative. If you are no longer accepting crap from people, it's very, very positive for yourself, your well-being and raising your vibrations. Because they're either going to raise their vibration to meet you and respect you and give a mutual respect or they will try and try and batter you down until you give in. So what's the solution? What do you do? Very politely stand your ground. Very politely be assertive and keep pushing forward on your path. Because their path is nothing to do with you. You don't need to worry about... Oh, I feel sorry for them, especially like if you're empathic and, you know, you, you feel for other people, you'll end up drained the most. If these people respect you, love you, any sort of positive feeling towards you, they will understand and accept your level and your boundaries that you're not willing to accept from people. Now, it's not to say that um, you hate them or anything like that, quite the opposite. You love them as much as you love yourself. And the difference is now is the latter, loving yourself, because you'll always accept it from people that you love. So, Therein is the problem, um, you know, 
trying to communicate that to other people. You don't need to try and hammer it home to them that you've changed. You don't need to say anything to them. You know, it's all in your action, all in the follow through. And I've said this over and over, when the desire is set and you want to follow through with um, your desired outcome, it takes action. So it takes you um, responding to those people with respect and self-respect and dignity. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't mean that, you know, you have to leave everybody behind. No, the right people will raise their vibration and understand to treat you with the same respect that they want to be treated with. It really is that simple. It may take longer for some people to um, raise your uh, raise their vibrations to meet you because maybe they're a close friend who you've been friends with for 20 plus years and they've expected you a certain way for 20 plus years. So that person will be like, oh, she's going through a phase or he's going through a phase or she's in a mood or he's in a mood or ignore him till tomorrow. Why should your boundaries, your self-respect be ignored? Ask yourself this if you've been friends 20 plus years and you've been ignoring it for 20 plus years and this person hasn't changed, then why are you going to continue to ignore it? That's what I mean. The hardest thing is understanding that you're standing in your own way. You're the one who's allowed them to speak to you a certain way for however long you've known them. And it can go for relationships, family ships, friendships. Um, and we'll find a lot of this going on at this time. Um, so yeah, during cancer season we are now. So a lot of it is focused on relationships because I think we had the Libra full moon coming up as well. So that's all about relationships and, um, you know, that and cancer. Oof. So you may find this happening and having to take a look at old situations. Because like I said, the planets are in retrograde. So we're being asked to, you know, if, if you've not sorted out this friendship yet, you know, are you still letting this person walk all over you? Maybe you wasn't even friends for the last six months and then they come back during the retrograde and, um, they try to treat you the same way and um, then, you know, um, the same sort of dynamic is going on. So are you going to allow it, especially if you've been working on yourself? Are you going to allow that sort of dynamic back into your life to start chipping away at you again? Or are you going to stand your ground and, you know, not let people cross your boundaries, not let people disrespect you in a sort of way. I mean, if you it's disrespectful to yourself because you're the only one who can allow it. So, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts, guys. I just wanted to throw, like I said, I was in the middle of my makeup. I just wanted to throw a quick video out there and um let me know your thoughts on this video um because you may find that these times sort of like being testing and things like that and a lot of things going on in uh, friendships and family ships and relationships and all these sort of dynamics and people coming back to really see if you're the same person that they can walk all over or have you really and truly started to raise your vibration? Are you going to allow your boundaries to be crossed? I'm not. <laughs> Good luck, guys.